We ended up at a beach we had never heard of. Was it a sweet secret or a secret scam? Let's find out together. In Cozumel, we were on our way to Paradise Beach, but it turned out to get in, we needed to have a $70 a day per person all day pass. This would include unlimited food and drink, but we weren't really looking to spend that much. We weren't planning to eat or drink enough to make that worthwhile, so we were looking for some place where we could get in and just have a la carte ordering. We paid about $20 to get to Paradise Beach, but when we found out it was full, our taxi driver took us basically next door to San Francisco Beach. It was just around $20 to get in per person, and then you could order food and drink a la carte as much as you wanted throughout the day. They also included chairs and beach umbrellas so that you could sit in the shade. There were some inflatables in the water that you could play on. They also had kayaks and canoes that you could borrow, which was kind of nice. There are some covered areas that you can hang out in if the weather gets bad, and these areas also include some souvenir shops if you're looking for a few little trinkets. We didn't use the pool on this trip, but it's nice that they have one if you don't want to go out into the ocean. You can walk up to the bar and order drinks, but we found that people came by all the time to ask if we needed anything, and they were very attentive, very friendly, and helped out a lot. One of the on-site vendors even came by and asked if we were looking for anything in particular and would tell us a little bit more about the history of the island and the people who lived here. We ordered a couple of drinks and even some nachos. They were actually pretty good nachos and a lot more substantial than I expected for a little beach touristy area. Enough to split and hold us over till we could get back to the ship, that's for sure. After a couple of hours, it did start to rain, and so we hung out in that covered area I talked about for a little bit, and then eventually got a taxi back to the port area. It was about 20 bucks to get back, and so it wasn't too bad. Try to find a couple other people going back to the same port area and split that taxi fare going back, if not also splitting it to get to San Francisco Beach. For us, it was about 40 bucks to get to and from the beach, about 40 bucks to get in, and we spent about 40 bucks in food and drink. So overall, it was about $120 for this whole day. Not too bad for a beach day. There are so many things you can do in Cozumel. I'm going to link to a couple other videos here just to show you some other excursions. And of course, when you're on a Caribbean cruise, there are excursions at every port stop. So check out some of these other videos. Would you go to San Francisco Beach? Let me know in the comments below. Or tell me about your favorite beach and share your secrets. Secret you next time.